Kitchen. I'm Johnny Vaccaro. In this episode, I have a really special treat for you. I'm going to be making spaghetti squash with a basil and sun-dried tomato pesto sauce. This is going to be a really unique dish because I'm using spaghetti squash as an alternative to pasta. Spaghetti squash is a really interesting type of vegetable. I'm going to bake it in the oven and it's going to come out having these long fibrous strands that resemble pasta. The dish is not going to be bland in any way because I'm using fresh ingredients like basil and garlic that are going to add a nice rich flavor to the pesto sauce. I'm then going to throw in a little bit of sun-dried tomatoes and some pine nuts to give the dish a smoky flavor. All the ingredients are very healthy and this dish is going to be perfect for people who are maybe trying to lose a little weight, who are craving a pasta dish. Instead, they can be using spaghetti squash. Spaghetti squash will still keep you full because it's filled with fiber and the pine nuts will also keep you full because it has a lot of monounsaturated fats. The ingredients are really simple, so let's go ahead and check them out. In this recipe, I'm going to be using two cups of fresh basil, one whole spaghetti squash, two cloves of garlic, two different types of sun-dried tomato, one soaked in oil and one dried, some roasted pine nuts, some parmigiano cheese, fresh grated pepper, and some extra virgin Tuscan olive oil. The first step is to preheat the oven to 375 degrees. I'm then going to split the spaghetti squash lengthwise in half. Be careful when cutting the spaghetti squash. It is a little tough to do. But once you do split it open, you're going to notice that it has a lot of fibrous seeds in the middle here. We're actually going to be removing these seeds in this part here because once we bake it in the oven the sides will turn into fibrous strands so we'll go ahead and remove these once we remove all of the seeds from the inside of the spaghetti squash the next step is to take a baking dish and add about eight ounces of water to the inside of the baking dish we're adding water to the dish and then we're going to actually Take the spaghetti squash and place it cut side down into the water of the baking dish. We're using water so that when we're baking the spaghetti squash, there's still a lot of moisture and it doesn't get too dried out and burn. So that's the purpose of the water. We're then going to put it into the 375 degree oven for about 35 to 45 minutes until we can kind of see that the insides are breaking apart and the strands are going to resemble pasta. The next step is to get ready to make the basil sun-dried tomato pesto sauce. What I have here is about two cups or about five ounces of fresh basil. Basil is going to have these stems here, but we're actually going to cut the stems off and just use the leaves. Just Remove all the stems, just use a scissor, no big deal. And once we do that, we can get ready to make the pesto sauce. We're going to be using a food processor, and it's going to be very, very simple. I have all the basil leaves that I cut up and washed, and I'm simply going to just put them into the food processor. Now feel free, if you have too much basil, you could do this in batches, but it really, um, you know, it seems like we have a lot of basil, but it's really going to condense once it's all in the food processor. So I put all the basil in the food processor, now I'm just going to add two cloves of garlic, and the sun-dried tomatoes. Now I'm using two types of sun-dried tomatoes here. The ones without the olive oil are going to have more of a smokiness where the ones in the olive oil are going to have more of a rich flavor. And I'm also going to just add, for now, just a little bit of Tuscan olive oil 
just about a tablespoon to start. And then once all the ingredients kind of combine in here, we could add the rest. So we'll go ahead and get this going. And go ahead and pulse it up. So about halfway, I'm going to just open it and reapply about two tablespoons more of Tuscan olive oil. And it really depends on how thick or how liquidy you want the pesto to be. I'm also going to go ahead and add the pine nuts and also some crushed black pepper. You may also want to add some additional salt, but because I'm using the sun-dried tomatoes, which already had salt, I'm going to refrain on that. And go ahead and pulse it up again. And it looks just about ready. And it smells unbelievable. When the garlic and the olive oil and the basil and everything really combines together, it really actually really reminds me of when I was living at home. My parents used to have a huge garden. At the end of the summer, we used to take out all the basil and my mom used to make fresh pesto sauce in large quantities and jar it so we could enjoy it for the rest of the year. That's the smell that I'm getting right now. It's unbelievable. See still some of the pieces of sun-dried tomato and the pine nuts are still intact. Our basil pesto is all done. I'm going to go ahead, wrap it up and actually store it in the refrigerator until our spaghetti squash is ready. You're going to know the spaghetti squash is ready once you start getting these fibrous strands where you can literally just put a fork in it just like that and have the fiber strands just kind of come off just like that. See, it's coming out real easy. That's how you know that the spaghetti squash is ready. So I've taken the spaghetti squash out of the oven and I just transferred it over to a bowl. I'm just going to use a pair of tongs just to kind of hold it and I'm going to take the fork and just scrape the spaghetti squash so that all the strands from the sides can go into a bowl. All right, see? There's that pasta texture. All right, I've transferred all of the spaghetti squash into the large bowl. And now I'm going to go ahead and mix just about a tablespoon of our pesto into the mixture. Now it's time for my favorite part. I'm just going to sprinkle in a little Parmigiano cheese because who doesn't like cheese on their spaghetti squash, right? <laughs> So I'll go ahead and give it a try. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. The spaghetti squash really resembles a pasta. In fact, it has a nice al dente crunch to it. It's not overpowering, but it's delicious. And the basil pesto with the sun-dried tomato adds another unique dimension because you have that smoky flavor from the sun-dried tomato. Your guests are going to love it. It's really easy to prepare and it's actually good for you. Check out runinthekitchen.com for more awesome recipes and thanks so much for joining me. I'm Johnny McCarroll. Take care. Such a lovely place, such a lovely place.